All right, fam. So one of the things I've been meaning to do is start kind of documenting how I go about things. I've had people reaching out saying, you know, listen, you just got into videography. How are you doing all these things so quickly? Um, how do you stay focused and uh, not lose uh, faith in the process? And, and so one of the things I've started to do is kind of uh, document uh, kind of an uh, average day for me. So, you know, it's morning. Um, I've just started to uh, brainstorm some ideas that I have on the table. And I'll kind of take you through some of those, including uh, a video I'm working on right now for a guy named Wes Knight that I met at the ICC um, uh, sort of day of soccer event with the Cooligans. And I've been meaning to sort of send him some B-roll that I got of him at the event. But then I started to kind of go through his Instagram feed and got inspired to do a little more than that. So let's get to it. Welcome to my uh, uh, shamble of a studio um, that I've been building slowly. And this is my super powerful editing machine. That's right, it was originally a gaming laptop and has since become a Premiere Pro editing station. Uh, got some a mixer laying around and a bunch of other stuff. But anyways, you know, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get to work on this video. So originally, um, I was gonna send Wes just some B-roll that I had captured at the ICC event. Uh, I had some footage of him playing soccer in like a five-a-side match, like a celebrity match. Um, he's a retired uh, MLS player, and uh, he was also working with kids. So I have some footage of him working with kids at some different activations and stuff like that. But the more I got around thinking about it, you know, I didn't want to just make some hype video. Uh, it's been a couple months have passed since I've been able to get around to this. So it doesn't really have any relationship in terms of timeline to anything he's doing right now. Um, and then I started going through his Instagram posts and, you know, he's got a lot of motivational stuff on there and he's been going through a hard time with uh, shoulder surgery and he's pretty authentic in terms of how he puts himself out there. And, you know, one of the things I do on social media is I tend to think that I also do the same, that I'm very honest about my mental health struggles and other things like that. And so I relate to a lot of the things that he's going through and a lot of the ways he says things, um, you know, it, it comes off as very authentic. So I'm actually scrolling through his Instagram right now and I think I may be able to tell a story for Wes. And what I'm hoping to do is take some of this footage that's on here of him talking as well as some of his posts. Uh, he's got a picture of like an x-ray uh, of his shoulder and scar the scar from post-surgery. And what I'm thinking is maybe I could take this and uh, merge this with some of the B-roll to tell a story uh, using his own words, essentially. So he's gonna narrate it. And I've got a few hours of free time here, so I'm gonna try to bang it out and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm looking through some of this stuff on his Instagram and I think I've found some stuff I can use. So, um, for example, he's got a video here. What up guys? I've been thinking a lot about courage and what courage really means to me. And uh, he's got a couple videos before his surgery and then also after his surgery. So maybe can tie in a little bit of an arc there um, that I think I can use. And um, I'm getting, uh, hit up for attention here um, by Bailey, so. Ah. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get to this and try to make something dope for West Knight. Coffee refill, I'm on my third or fourth cup and I have, I think I finished the video. So it's about, it's been a, about a few hours. Uh, grab some music from Epidemic Sound, which uh, I use and we use at Four Wheel Sports for almost all of our work. And, um, and then also uh, just kind of did some light color grading because this video was shot using a natural profile for quick and ease at the time. So I uh, can't do a lot of color grading with it, but did some color correction and, and try to lay on a, a nice LUT to kind of uh, bring out what I think is, is the, the message he's trying to share. Um, in, in his Instagram videos and, and all that stuff. So um, yeah, let's see, let's... pretty excited about this, guys. I've been thinking a lot about courage 
Uh, and the scars got me mad, man. I'm angry. I'm angry. Look at this. This is a massive scar on, on my body. My shoulder is in pain. I really hope he likes this. Uh, I don't expect him to share it. I just really want to give him this video because maybe it'll inspire him using his own words. You know, um, one of the things I find, you know, being a personality on social media and stuff is, is even though you have all these followers and stuff, it can be isolating. And, you know, uh, I work from home and I don't see many faces of people unless I get out and shoot and, uh, or, or go to a soccer match or whatever. So, um, I relate to a lot of the things he's talking about. I went through one of the most difficult periods uh, in the years, really, uh, where I had struggled with some mental health uh, issues. I just took a severe dip um, for the month of August, and it led right up into um, filming uh, our latest documentary with Four Wheel Sports. So, you know, I want to give Wes something back because I feel like he's putting himself out there. He's giving. Him, parts of himself away, really, and uh, and maybe this will, you know, help give him some motivation using his own words. Um, so I'm uh, I'm gonna Instagram him right now, and uh, we'll see what he says. Uh, the video is done rendering; it's uploading right now, and so I'm gonna send him a little Instagram and uh, let him know that the video is done. Um, I kind of alluded to the fact that I was hoping to get him some footage, but I don't think he's expecting anything like this. All right, message sent, and I hope he likes it. Uh, the video is finished uploading, and it's rendering on Google Drive, so I went ahead and sent him the link in an email, and I'm excited to see if he says anything. Um, and basically, what I said is I said to Wes, uh, listen, um, I created a video for you. I don't want you to feel like you need to share it. I made it because I believe in your message and how you deliver it, and I thought you deserve something that might help inspire you using your own words, and I'll email a link to you, blah, blah, blah. So it's off. Uh, we'll find out what he says. Uh, yeah, a little nervous, <laughs> but ultimately it was fun to make, and, uh, and it, it's hopefully it's giving back a little bit. You know, It's not always about making things for monetary value, I get joy out of telling stories. I may not make the best or shiniest videos. I'm still learning a lot. Um, you know, my videos may not be as polished as uh, uh, professional videographers or people that have been doing it for some time, but I like to believe that I know how to tell a story and I hope that I, you know, did Wes right in this one. I hope he likes it. All right, so I, Got a message back from him and